What is going on YouTube, Lamont at large. Today, I am at 10150 Caraway here in San Diego, California, off of the I-15 Scripps Parkway Mercy Road exit. I am at the Karanat Memorial Garden. Today, we're here to talk about her brutal murder that occurred on December 27, 1986. This was a case that was profiled on forensic files. I suggest you stop the video right now and go watch that episode. It's only about 20 minutes long. And after you watch the episode, come back and uh, it, it will be easier for you to watch the video in that sequence. And I can talk really quickly about the murder and then you can come along with me and we're gonna go visit her graveside. As I am hoping that all of you watch the episode of Forensic Files before you conclude it in on the video, I'm gonna tell you the brief story of what happened to Kara Knott on December 27th, 1986. Uh, she was found very close to this memorial garden. Uh, she was killed and there was absolutely no suspect. That was a killing that absolutely rocked the San Diego County area. Uh, many news, local news outlets were doing stories about how to keep safe, how to stay safe, particularly if you're a female. And as if you already watched the video and have already found out, shockingly enough, who the killer was, the killer was a man that was supposed to serve and protect and uphold the law. It was a CHP officer who killed Karen Knott by the name of Craig Pear, a man who to this day is still in a prison uh, somewhere, I believe, in the San Luis Obispo area. Uh, he's at a prison uh, known to have uh, many amenities, sad to say, uh, simply for his own protection being that if he were put in a regular uh, population, he would have long ago been probably killed, which would have probably been for uh, the benefit of uh, many, many people. But anyways, so this garden in 1996 was dedicated to the, the memory of Karen Knott. And about three years later, it was rededicated for uh, victims of violent crimes in San Diego, of course, by the blessing of the family. So this is a garden where people leave mementos to people who were died. You have one right here. Junior, we love you. You have many painted rocks with people's names on it. And we are coming up to Karen Knott's space. And uh, this is Karen Knott's section of the garden in loving memory. And I hope that everybody that has watched this video, watched the Forensic Files episode, I could, in no better words, tell you uh, what this girl meant to her family and to her friends. The part about the detective who said that uh, if you had a daughter, you would, in a sense, want your daughter to be like Kara. And you wouldn't think, you know, when you're a parent, I don't have any kids, so I don't know what it's like, but, you know, you would think that... It, as your son or your daughter, particularly your daughter, because the world is a little bit more, a little bit more dangerous. Uh, if you have a daughter, you're very more protective, I imagine. You know, you figure if you have a son, uh, he can take care of himself. But a daughter, kind of, kind of different, if you ask me. And uh, just a very, very sad place. And uh, sadly enough, uh, her father also has a bench here Sam Knott founder of San Diego Crime Victims Oak Garden from your poker buddies um, Sam Knott suffered a fatal heart attack here just a 
a few uh, few yards away from where Kara's place in the garden is. So we're gonna go uh, to the cemetery. Cemetery, excuse me. We're gonna go to the cemetery and uh, visit the graveside of uh, Kara. Okay, so I drove about 25 miles to the Seeking Hills Memorial Park Cemetery. I believe we're in the El Cajon area and our Kara and her father are buried side by side. The uh, gentleman in the office kind of pointed into this area. He said they should be somewhere right here. Said by a leaning tree. Let's see. Ah, uh, there, there she is. Karen Evelyn Knott, February 11th, 1966 to December 27, 1986. You are my morning and evening star. Now you are stardust and will live forever. And as this is her... This is her father, John Samuel Knott. Into the highlands of the mind, let me go. I truly believe this man literally died of a broken heart. What one psychopath does to tear a family absolutely apart. I know I didn't do anything, but I'm sorry for what happened to the both of you. All right, guys. I'm gonna get going. Rest in peace to Karen Sam. All right, guys. See you on the next vlog. Peace out.